has that one Enneagram obsessed person in their life. Have you heard of the Enneagram? What's your Enneagram? Let me try to guess your Enneagram. Have you heard of the Enneagram? And you've probably been wondering, what the heck is an Enneagram? But don't you worry, because I'm going to give you a quick rundown so that you can understand your Enneagram obsessed friends, or you can become just as obsessed with the Enneagram as me. So what is it? The Enneagram is a personality categorizing system. It theorizes that there are nine different personality types in the world, and each type sees the world in a different way. Plus, each type has an underlying motivation that runs throughout their whole lives that totally influences how they behave and how they feel. So you may be saying, isn't it like super limiting to say that there's only nine types of people in the world? And to that I say, haha. <laughs> No, because there's like infinite expressions of all of the numbers. This is the Enneagram. I know that this probably looks like some pagan symbol or, or mad mathematician's ramblings, but bear with me. The nine types are one, the perfectionist, two, the helper, three, the performer, four, the romantic, five, the investigator, six, the loyalist, seven, the enthusiast, eight, the challenger, and nine, the peacemaker. So there's three triads. These describe different ways that you experience life. The gut triad is eight, nine, and one, and they are driven by anger and express themselves directly and honestly. The heart triad, which is my triad, is two, three, and four, and they are driven by feelings and they can be extremely image conscious. The head triad is five, six, and seven. They are driven by fear and think and plan carefully before acting. So each number can have a wing, so that's basically like the number's neighbor. So if my head, is the number eight. I can either be a eight wing nine or an eight wing seven, just depending on what my personality like leans towards. Okay, I know that's a lot of numbers and stuff, and as someone who hates math, I am like, why am I spending my free time thinking about numbers and stuff? But when you know the meanings behind the numbers, it is like super fascinating. Stay tuned for my Enneagram series. I'm gonna be making nine videos about all nine Enneagram types, all the annoying things they do, the wonderful things they do all about them. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't already, I put up new videos every Thursday. I wanna tell you why I love the Enneagram so much. It really helps me connect with people because it's so fun to talk about it and like dissect their types and like why you are the way that you are. I love that kind of stuff. The Enneagram really helped me understand myself. Once I really dove into it and figured out like what my type and wing was and all of the, the little nitty gritty details about that, like a lot of things about me clicked into place and it's been helping me navigate the world better. And lastly, I really love that the Enneagram is a fluid personality type. People are like, really complicated so when you just like throw like a label on someone and then call it a day i just don't think that's that's accurate because people change depending on circumstances how you grow who you're married to who your friends are all of that impacts who you are and the enneagram is super flexible and like has a lot of different variations like depending on where you are in your life it's a really uncanny way to show how humans are wired i put a couple enneagram tests in the description below so if you're curious you can go take them come back to this video and then comment what your type is and like how you feel about it because it's fascinating thank you so much for watching and have a lovely lovely day